very lovely and charming gown for a lovely and charming princess that we're about to meet. Uh, Anna Mae Wilson looks at us over WNHC TV in New Haven, asked for it. She writes, I constantly marvel at the way motion pictures can completely transform an actress's appearance on the screen through a selection of wardrobe. Is it possible to have a studio designer explain that? Well, Anna Mae, yes. One of those amazing transformations for which Hollywood is famous was recently completed for this delightful little actress, Audrey Hepburn, who achieved stardom overnight due to her starring role in Paramount's Roman Holiday. Now, it all started right here in the office of Edith Head. She is a costume designer for Paramount. And Miss Head is out of my class here to ask about ladies' wardrobes or know anything about it, but you, being a four-time Academy Award winner, can kind of set us straight, huh? Well, I'll try, Mr. Baker. Well, the question is here, how do you go about changing actresses' appearances just through wardrobe? Well, the first thing I do is to get acquainted with the actress, actually study her. Now, in the case of Audrey Hepburn, she was in Europe at that time on stage. Mm -hmm. So it was necessary for us to film what we call a personality test. In other words, we wanted to see how she could move, how she could walk, and generally how she looked on the screen. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see the results? Yes, indeed, we would. Now, this is an actual test. This was made in England, flown to me here in Hollywood. It was my first acquaintance with Audrey Hepburn, and as you'll see, it's pretty successful. All right, now wander down here without your hands in your pockets and settle down in that chair and we'll make a nice close up of you. Seriously, Audrey, tell us about the war. You spent the whole war in Arnhem. Yes. Wasn't it pretty awful? Yes, it was very bad. But did you entertain the people there yourself? Is that how you began? No, not, not quite how I began. I went to ballet school once I knew I was settled there for quite a while. Didn't know how long the war was going to last, so I went to a ballet school and learned to dance. And in about 1944, about a year before the end of the war, I was quite capable of performing. And it was a sort of some way in which I could make some contribution. And I did give performances to collect money for the underground, which always needed money. And what about the Germans? What did they do about it? They didn't know about it. What a delightful girl she is. And that personality has so much better than still pictures. They like meeting her face to face. Hmm? Of course they are. And you know it was from that test that I was able to design these costumes. Mm -hmm. Then, after making these costumes, I flew to New York. I actually met Miss Hepburn and made this wardrobe test. <clears throat> this is the first time that you see Miss Hepburn on the screen in a test, testing in the costume for a Roman holiday. You see, she is supposed to be a princess disguised as an ordinary girl on the streets of Rome. So we made her a simple costume so she wouldn't look different. And you know why she's rolling up her sleeves and all of these things? It's because in the picture she had to look casual, informal, and we felt due to the heat of Roman summer, a girl would really do this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Now watch and see what she does now, because this is what we call demonstrating through a test what is going to happen in a picture. It helps the director and it helps an actress. You see, she's whirling around because in the picture she has to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> see, it proves it. Oh, her pretty hair was cut off in the picture. Yes, that's right. part of the story, too. Now, this is a, a transformation as the princess. You see, we don't do any tricks or give her a crown, but we give her a regal dress, a simple dress of real lace, in other words, the type dress that a real princess would wear under similar circumstances in a similar locale. This is what we call transformation through wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Real regal. That's real lace, too. It isn't really it? is lace, and the princess could have worn this dress. And Audrey wears this dress in the picture. Mm -hmm. Accomplishes that regal feeling there. Yes, mm -hmm. now here is an even more regal costume. This is one of the princess's ball gowns for the opening of the film. We had two costumes from which to choose, and we took this one of silver brocade because it was a little more photographic, a little gayer. 
Now, you notice what she's going to do now. She is turning around the picture because the producer, William Wyler, said it's too long, she can't possibly dance. Hmm. Now, Audrey, who is an accomplished dancer, says, just watch me. And that is why she did it in the test. And she wears it in the picture. Does that answer your request? Mr. Oh, Vegas? so much more delightful than we expected, indeed. Well, Roman Holiday, I, your work in that, you must be congratulated. I kind of see another Academy Award coming. Well, I'm uh, more certain that the picture itself will win an Academy Award because Mr. Wilder's direction was marvelous. He always has good ones there. Everyone's talking about this. Audrey Hepper and I, I can see why, too. Then, of course, you had Gregory Peck and uh, Eddie Albert. They're mm -hmm. outstanding. I must say that having seen the picture, this one of the recent ones that I look at people and say, Roman Holiday, you've got to see. Thank you very much indeed for answering this request. It's been a great pleasure, Mr. Baker. And to you, Anna Mae Wilson, in New Haven there, we saw a bit of Hollywood magic before our eyes because you asked for it. <laughs>